In this tutorial, we will look at the trim and extend command in AutoCAD. We will look at these commands together because they each require two selection sets and operate in a similar way. I will start by drawing four overlapping lines. Here is one line and right click and select enter to end the command. Right click again and select repeat line to start the line command again. Now I'll press enter and enter again to start the line command. Now I'll repeat that for the last line. Now we'll look at the trim command. This is the trim icon on the modify toolbar. Alternatively, we can type trim or TR from the command line. Press enter and now I'm prompted to select some objects. The objects we are selecting are cutting edges. So right now we are not able to trim. You must first select the edges that you will trim to. To demonstrate the trim command, I'll select this line as the cutting edge. And then I'll remove these two overlapping portions. So I've selected the cutting edge and will press enter. Now I'm prompted to select again, but in this case I'm prompted to select the objects I want to trim. What you trim depends on what side of the cutting edge that you select the object. So I'll click on this line on this side of the cutting edge and then the other. Press enter to end the command. Now I'll press undo and repeat the trim command from the modify toolbar. In this case I'll select two cutting edges. Press enter. And now we're prompted for the sections we want to remove. I'll select the overlapping sides on the upper line and then a portion between the cutting edges on the lower line. So you can see how the cutting edges work. Press enter and undo the command. Now I will show a shortcut when selecting cutting edges. So restart the trim command and if you press enter without selecting an edge everything in the drawing will become a cutting edge. So at this point all four of the lines are cutting edges. To demonstrate I'll form a closed polyline out of the line segments. So I'll trim all of the overlapping edges. The trim command is very useful when you're drawing in 2D. You'll find that you'll use trim and extend in order to clean up your drawing after you have most of your objects in place. At this point, we'll move on to extend. First, I'll erase the lines by using the erase command. Select all of the lines with the selection window and press enter. Now I'll draw a number of lines. I'll make these lines so that they do not intersect. I will create the last line so that it cannot extend to the lower line. So now we'll look at the extend command. I'll select the extend icon and now you see instead of cutting edges we're prompted for boundary edges. I will select two boundary edges the lower and top line and press enter. Now I can project lines to these boundary edges. I'll select this first line and then the same line on the bottom. Press enter to terminate the command. Continuing on, type extend or EX from the keyboard. Press enter and I'll select the same two boundary edges. Press enter to confirm and then I'll extend the middle line 
to both boundaries. For the last line, you'll notice that I cannot extend to the lower boundary. At this point, I'll press Enter. In the command line, you see that there is a message. I could not see it at the time, but it indicates that the object does not intersect an edge. So I was not able to extend. We will look at the solution to this situation in a future tutorial when we look at the fillet command. This completes the tutorial on the trim and extend commands in AutoCAD.